you know, I've just taken some samples. I've just actually lost some. I've just, I've just got a right good bundle down there. And I've put them down and I can't find the damn things. Because there's bundles of them everywhere. But anyway, I'm just sitting down now. And it's just an amazing. Even though I've got all that noisy shit going on in the background over there. It's just one hell of an amazing experience. And the energy, the energy you can feel. And the wonder, I think it's the wonder, you know, they're not knowing what the frick are they trying to tell us with this. They can't scratch in the Nazca lines anymore because Nazca, it's a dead bed, it's a dead sea bed made of crystal. It's just, it's, um, it's gypsum. And basically when gypsum, like, like the land down at Wiltshire in England, where Stone Edge is, that that land is nice and soft, so it's it's still chalk, it's still gypsum, you know, like plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is gypsum basically, and um, because it's always pissing it down over here, the land stays wet, yeah. But over in Nazca, the it's a, it, all gypsum is is a dried sea bed, yeah, uh, like a mineral bed, like you'd find in in the Mediterranean, you know, where you find them really beautiful fishes. Well, then fish is a, a, a magnetic bacteria what produces that that illuminance, yeah, that bioluminance, and all what all what selenite is, which is gypsum, a hard form of gypsum, what you find in Nazca, is just all them little bacteria what have been crushed over millions of years, yeah. So when you hold it under a UV light, they glow in the dark. And my theory is with Nazca lines, if that bioluminescence is down there in the lines and it's crushed and they, the ancients knew about that then what's happening is they are scratching into them lines they're making landing strips, illuminated landing strips so when the people are coming down in the mother ships whoosh, hovering over the planet Earth they know by looking at Nazca, the illuminated lines yeah they glow in the dark. Wait, there's Nazca over there. There's our landing ship. There's the airport. Come on, let's go over there. And I think, I think that is, uh, I think that's what the tale is. And I think Van Donneken, I think he was right. They are landing strips. But, but he didn't suss out that they illuminated it. He sussed out um, part two, part two of nine on the ancient aliens. If you watch it, he does actually say that he had, he, he picked, the, he picked the, the soil up, yeah, and he put it to his mouth, he tasted it, it didn't taste, it looks like soap, but it doesn't taste of anything, it didn't taste like soap. He had it analysed, and it came back as white crystal, glass crystal. Now you research what grass, glass crystal is, and it comes up as selenite, yeah, which is gypsum. So, when you think about it, the entire planet is just a bloody seabed, isn't it, an ancient seabed? But some of it had bioluminescent bacteria. And the bioluminescent bacteria glow in the friggin' dark. They glow in the dark when they're alive, they glow in the dark when they're dead. Simple as. So when uh, when we've got our little mates from up there come down here and send the bowls of energy, and they come you know, from the skies, you know, doing the little pictures, doing the graffiti, they're leaving you, they're painting you a bloody message, they're, they're, they're sending you information, yeah, but there's nobody out there clever enough on this god I mean, look at the scale of this planet, yeah, think of the brains between every single one person and it doesn't matter whether you're an academic it doesn't matter whether you've never been to school if you s take time out think about what what is going on and you get one little bit of information and you link it up to the next bit of information and then the next bit of information and you research that you know 
fucking hell. We've got the internet now. We've got the internet. We've got internet technology where you can just tap, tap, tap. Right, you want to learn about magnetic bacteria. You want to learn about bioluminescence. You want to learn about selenite. You want to learn about all about selenite structure. Incidentally, selenite, when you look at it, it's cones. Inside it are cones. Yeah? Cone structures. So when the light goes through it, yeah, it's like one of those, you know, them um, glass lights with all them little individual strips coming from it, you know, oh god, what the hell, do you know what I mean anyway, yeah, they had them in the 70s, everybody was having them, yeah, and you turn it on and all them lights came through and, and went and it made it really, really nice, well, cellulite, that is what cellulite is like inside, it's just full of rods, what else are full of rods? Our eyes. So, I think what uh, I think what ET Von Ohm is trying to tell us is bioluminescence um, and, and, and graffiti in the soil. The only way we can see, we can't understand what they're saying, but the only thing we can see is is patterns, geometric patterns. Now we saw them in Nazca. We've seen them in, 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 of all places, Brighouse. I mean, God, what goes on in Brighouse? Nothing happens around here in Brighouse. You've, you've got the M62, what just runs right through it. And over there where you see the sun on, the, on, on, on you know, in the little bit of valley bit there, you've got the, the car sales. You've got the um, auction. Yeah, it's literally just there. And then just there on the horizon up there, you've got a Shell petrol station. And then you've got nothing then, for God knows how many... 20 miles till you get to Leeds. There's nothing happening here. Why? Why are they sending those messages to Brighouse? There's got to be something round here. There's something round here. What they're trying to tell us. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was me what they was trying to, you know, send information through. So I could suss this one out. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to give you all something to think about. Bioluminescent, Nazca lines, gypsum, cellulite. Cellulite is known as the bringer of light. Well, it's brought me some light and it's opened my eye. And, and I hope it will, seriously, open quite a few, few people's eyes. I've taken soil, I've taken samples of the corn from the centre of the circle. I am now going to go to the edge of the field over there where Doris is. I'm going to take some samples and then it's back home. See you in a bit.